Hey everybody, welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. Today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to tie the rig that we used in our last flounder video, uh, which I will have the link below um, so you can see his catch on his flounder. Um, the rig that we have, the reason, real simple rig. It's basically like a top and bottom rig, uh, pretty similar to a drop shot rig if you guys do any bass fish or anything like that. Um, what I got is a one ounce uh, Spro chartreuse color on the bottom, and then about 12 to 18 inches up, I got a, uh, another dropper loop put in there. That's got a four-aught Gamagatsu um, octopus hook on there. Uh, I had this tied on about a two-foot leader using 20-pound fluorocarbon. Um, this rig is great. Super simple rig. Uh, something that doesn't get caught up on you. Uh, if you guys ever use store-bought rigs for flounder or anything like that, um, got that super long tail, you know, the three-way swivel, all that kind of stuff. A lot of, a lot of um, clips and swivels and a lot of stuff to get tangled up on. Just, it's just a pain in the butt to use. This rig is great. Easy to use. Um, Catches a lot of fish, bring a lot of fish in the boat with this rig. Uh, it's great, it's got two dropper loops, so you can easily change out your um, bucktails or your hooks or whatever to, to go with heavier or bigger hooks, whatever you need. Um, uh, I'm fishing this with a uh, Gulp Alive uh, swim mullet, um, usually using the white, it works well with the uh, on the Spro, and then using minis on the top. I like to double up my minis uh, if I can. Um, just seem to catch more fish from doubled up on minis. Uh, minis been working out pretty well with us for this year. I'm actually doing a lot of minis on the bottom also. If you, the last keeper we caught in the last video, uh, I actually had a mini on the, on the bottom hook as well. Uh, it does well for us. I'm using a uh, Penn Battle 2 um, reel, a rod and reel combo. Uh, it's a seven foot rod, uh, medium action with a quick action tip, or fast action tip. Um, works super well for flounder. It's really sensitive. Um, able to feel that little, that faint bite uh, and still bring them in the boat. Uh, it's a great, great rod and reel combo setup. Um, highly recommend it. Um, so, we're actually going to go into the segment now where Isaac's actually going to teach you guys how to tie this rig. Uh, super easy rig to tie. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to show you how to tie our dropper loop rig. First thing you want to do is tie on a barrel swivel at the top with a uni knot. Um, if you want to learn how to tie the uni knot, check out our video. We'll leave a link below. Come down about six inches from the barrel swivel. We're going to create our first drop loop. Um, create a loop like this. We're going to wrap this three times on the third loop now we're gonna put our finger in here we're gonna wrap three more times all right so that's it now we're gonna take the loop we're gonna pull it through the hole we made. Now we got to pull this, pull this out, and pull our line tight. This is where a third hand would come in handy. There you have it. That's the first dropper loop we're tying. Tying. Now we're gonna come down about 12 inches. We're gonna create our second dropper loop. This one's a little different. We're just gonna do a, a double overhand knot. Make sure you're leaving your loops big enough to get the hook through. Um, make it a lot easier when you're putting the hook on. All right, there you have it. Um, cut off your excess line, but you got your first loop and then your, your second loop down here. everyone thanks for watching we really appreciate it we appreciate all the support that we've got that we've gotten um you guys have been really great uh please if you haven't already hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up uh leave a comment below if you have any questions or uh, let me know what kind of rig you like to use uh, we appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video